OpenAI solutions like ChatGPT and DALI 2 are generating a lot of excitement at the moment. So I was interested to see how far we're currently able to utilize these tools in the articulate storyline development process to see if we can speed up our workflow in both the visual design and custom interaction programming work that might be involved in any particular project. So let's see how we get on doing that. The brief I've set myself for this project is to create a new multiple choice quiz question interface in Storyline, along with some kind of interactive reward screen that the user gets to when they pass the quiz. And I want AI to do as much of the work for me as possible for both the interface design task and also to manage any coding I might need to write for my custom interaction. Let's start with the UI. And as things stand, the best AI tool that we can use to generate user interface concept art is Midjourney. As I had seen previously, the different examples of impressive artwork that the latest version 4 release was capable of creating. I did first try seeing what Dolly 2 could generate with this type of prompt, but these don't really have the same wow factor that I'm looking for in my project. So I jumped into the free beta Discord server for Midjourney and asked the AI to create a beautiful and elegant quiz question interface for my project. And this is what I was given. These do look very nice of course, but I wasn't particularly planning on a nature theme for my quiz, and clearly the AI must associate the word beauty with nature quite a lot. So I refined my search once more, and this time asked for a modern and simple user interface, and also gave Midjourney the colours that I was thinking about using in my project. And a few seconds later, it came up with this. Now these results definitely look very cool and modern, out of the four options, I quite like this design in the bottom right because Midjourney has also given us an idea for the colour palette that we can use for displaying the correct answer. It also seems fairly obvious to me how I can go about recreating this in Storyline with a rounded gradient submit button and also using these rounded icons here as a visual cue for which answer the user has selected. So with a bit of work in Storyline, our quiz question interface is now ready to go. You can see in the preview here that I went ahead and included a scrolling panel masking trick to add some extra animation to the answer selection. And by having a copy of the original image from Midjourney next to the slide area, I was able to easily eyedrop over the color palette hex code values. So in summary, I can definitely see how Midjourney in particular can provide some inspiration during the interface design process for any particular project in Storyline especially because it can likely create other types of slide layouts that we might need also. But the skill of the designer is still 100% needed in order to take what is still only a rough concept and make it into something structured and accessible to the user. Let's now think about something we can create as a reward to the user for passing the quiz, which we perhaps couldn't develop with Articulate Storyline's design tools alone. My idea for this is that we give the user a fireworks show, which they can control themselves by clicking any part of the screen to make their fireworks appear wherever they click. So in order to achieve this in Storyline 360, we'll need to write our own JavaScript function. And this is something that AI can help us to accomplish as the latest version of ChatGPT is capable of providing fully functional JavaScript code based on whatever problem we ask it to solve. I'll start off by asking ChatGPT if it could write some code for me that would display a photograph wherever the user clicks their mouse, and for that photograph to disappear three seconds later. And here's the response that it's provided, which includes our JavaScript function, as well as a line of HTML that we need to include within our HTML window of our project. To test this answer, I've gone ahead and set up a simple HTML5 project outside of Storyline, which as you can see is connected to an external CSS and JavaScript file. Let's copy and paste our code into the JS file and the image tag to the HTML file. And I'll drop a photograph of some fireworks into the root folder with the same name as was written in the code. Let's load this up in the browser now and see the result. And as you can see, we've got the start of something very promising going on here. My first thought at this moment is that the image is definitely being generated where I'm clicking, but on the top left edge and not directly central as I would prefer. So because ChatGPT is conversational, I can go back and ask it a further question. What if I want the image to display in the center of where the user clicked the mouse? 
It's now gone ahead and updated the answer that it originally gave with a change to the left and top position styling, which should mean that the image appears central to where I click. So let's give this a go. I'm definitely happy with the result that we're seeing here. Of course, I don't want to just display a static photograph of a firework to the user. So the next thing I did was open up After Effects and created this simple animation of a firework exploding. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube for doing this kind of thing, but all I have here is a CC particle world layer, which explodes on the screen in some vibrant blue colors. I went ahead and published this out as an animated GIF and placed it into the project folder to replace my original JPEG and made sure to update the image path in both the HTML and JS file. At this point, I also changed the body tag background color styling from white to black so that we can see more of what the end product would look like. Another change that I made at this point was to instead replace the image source of the firework when the two second timeout has occurred, rather than changing its display value. This is because the animated GIF's own timeline will continue to play even when it is hidden, so the next time it is shown, we likely won't be playing the animation from the first frame. We can get around this by instead changing the image source to something else, and then changing it back when the click event takes place. So I created an empty blank GIF file to change to when the firework is not on screen. We can also prevent the user from creating a new firework until the previous animation has ended by including an additional if statement within the click event, using a switch that will toggle on or off depending on whether the animation has ended. At this point, I'm starting to think about how we can bring all of this together in my storyline project. I'll need a new slide and a picture of the night sky, which is easily found in the Articulate Content Library. I'm thinking it would be cool to turn this into a scene of some people looking up at the sky whilst the firework display is happening. So let's see if we can get AI working for us again to achieve that. Over in Photoshop, I have the Stability plugin installed from the Adobe Marketplace, which allows me to connect to the API for DALI 2 to perform all of my work within Photoshop itself. So I'll go ahead and ask for a vector style illustration of people looking up at the night sky. I'm pretty happy with the results that I've received, and with some further adjustments made in Photoshop, I was able to achieve the result I wanted for my storyline project. Now I'm thinking that within my storyline project, I want to make sure that the fireworks display when the user is clicking on the night sky image specifically. And regular viewers to my channel will know that we often use the accessibility alt text value for tasks such as this, as it's currently the only way that we can assign a custom attribute to slide objects that we can reference later on in JavaScript. So I went back to ChatGPT and I asked the question that instead of clicking anywhere in the browser window, what if the user is instead clicking on a div with the following attribute? And I gave the exact attribute as would be written when viewed in HTML code. And sure enough, ChatGPT was able to update its response once more to include an event listener that targets the image with the attribute that I asked it to look for. With that code now in place within an execute JavaScript trigger in Storyline, we'll go ahead and publish the project in order to test it. Of course, much like my test project earlier, I need to open up the story.html file in order to add in the firework image tag to the HTML file, which I'll add just below the first script tag included in the document body. Let's now open this up in the browser. I'm definitely happy with the result here, but again, I think we could go one step further and like any other firework display would have, let's include some additional colors which display at random every time a new firework is generated. I'm feeling confident that ChatGPT should have no trouble adding an image array to the solution that it has created so far. So I asked the question, what if I want to cycle between different images at random every time the mouse is clicked? And as you can see, the AI recommends to us that we create an array of image files at the start of the script. And then later on, when the image is loaded, we include a new line, which will pick an image index from the array at random based on how many images there are included in the array. That's definitely a smart way of achieving the result we need. So let's go ahead and add this to our storyline execute JavaScript trigger. 
And at this point, I think our little experiment is completely ready to go. So let's take another look at the result from start to end in the browser. So I'm definitely impressed with what ChatGPT is able to achieve with even the most basic of instruction for what we want to accomplish. And especially when we started to include instruction specific to Articulate Storyline, like our data ACC text value, which is generated in the published project file. It feels like you can really let your imagination run wild. If you're interested in seeing the project that we created in this video, you will find it available to download over on the Discover eLearning website. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon in another video.